What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, good morning. It's not the morning when you're gonna be watching this probably, but it is morning right now, so that's good enough for me. Um, but I got a little interesting video today that I'm gonna make about junior hockey that I think you know a lot of young hockey players that watch my videos and maybe parents that watch my videos would be really interested in just learning about it and you know understanding like the ins and outs of it because I feel like it's something that's not really talked about too much in today's game. I feel like there's like two big views of it. One is that it's like this over glorified best thing ever. You can't miss out on juniors. It's the best time of your life, no responsibility. And then on the other hand, on the complete opposite end of the spectrum is that people look so down on it and think it's like so terrible and all kids do is like party and drink and you know it's it's the worst time ever or you get traded around a bunch and it's just like such a terrible experience for a lot of players so i'm here to set the record straight obviously like i don't have all the credentials in the world but i played a year and a half of juniors i'm not a grizzled vet that played like four years and played on six different teams but um, you know, I did have a wildly different experience in uh, across my time in juniors and so, you know, I'm just here to set that record straight. For starters, um, in I believe it was 2017, I played my first year of juniors. I got there in about November uh, in the CCHL for the Kempfield 73s and then my second year of juniors, the year after that, uh, last year actually, or two years ago maybe now, I don't really know. Um, I played for the Johnstown Tomahawks uh, in the North American Hockey League. And, you know, I think I had two wildly different experiences. Uh, for starters, like my brother, when he went to juniors, he had an awesome time his first year, played in Salmon Arm in the British Columbia Hockey League and had a blast. And then his second year, he got traded around a bunch. And, you know, a lot of people, including my parents, you know, thought like, this is so terrible. Like, why would you want to go play juniors? And for me, it was a couple of different reasons. You know, I wanted to further my hockey. I wanted to, you know, meet new people. I wanted to play hockey in different parts of the world. And it was, you know, two experiences that I never would have got to, you know, experience before without it. So let's get right into it. My first year of juniors was not so great uh, at all. I had a pretty, pretty like, rough experience, I would say. Like I, I went to Kempville expecting the world, expecting it to be so much fun and to win a lot of games and, and just have a blast. And like, by no means is this a like disregard to Kempville at all. Like I had such a fun time there. I met some unbelievable guys, but I lost my first 10 games in a row there. <laughs> I got there and I didn't win a single game my first 10 games. I, I was coming in, I was, you know, ready to play a lot, ready to win some games, and it was just terrible. I, I didn't have like an amazing billet experience. I didn't have, um, you know, amazing on ice experience, and so it just like, it was one of those kind of junior horror stories where you know a lot of people you hear just have these terrible stories and they end up quitting hockey. Thankfully, I stuck with it and I really was lucky and I got, uh, you know, to where I am now. But it just was a, it was not a fun experience at all. So my second year, I think I've explained this a little bit more in one of my other videos, but I went to Johnstown in the North American League expecting nothing. I, I, I was, you know, down from the year before, but I was ready to go for the next year, but I wasn't expecting to have like an unbelievable situation or anything of that sort. But you know, that, that second year when those expectations were so low, they just blew me out of the water. I had an unbelievable time, an unbelievable experience, an unbelievable you know, journey in Johnstown. Uh, not only was my team really good, but I played with the closest group of guys that I've ever played with in my entire life and the closest coaching staff I've ever played with in my entire life. It was just an unbeatable experience. So for me, you know, the truth about juniors is that it's so situational. It depends so much. Like here I am in one situation, one year, having the worst time of my life contemplating quitting hockey. And the next year I'm like having the time of my life and I never wanted to leave. I think it's this like fine line in juniors where you face such like the highest of highs and the lowest of lows and it just it it could be anywhere on that spectrum but you just like your emotions are always running so high because you're in situations with guys that all want to do the like get to the next level and all are working so hard and all left home to do this that emotions run high and everyone you know experiences these things at such a young age that like a lot of people don't get to experience 
junior hockey can be really confusing. Uh, it can be really like a tough decision to make. I think like I know guys that have not played juniors and gone straight to college, straight to university. I play with a couple guys now that, you know, would never change that because they enjoyed, you know, going straight from their high school or prep school to university. But I also play with guys that, you know, junior hockey was the best time of their life. And for me, it was like right down that middle where I had the worst time of my life, um, almost quitting hockey, but I still enjoyed like the people I met and everything. And then the next year, having the best time of my life and never wanting to leave. So maybe the, the title is a little confusing because you know that, that disparity that I talked about is still there. Like it's, it's so dependent on who you are and where you played. I know a lot of guys that got traded around a bunch and, and really didn't enjoy their time. But don't just take it from me. Like I, I called a couple of my old teammates and you know, here's what they had to say. What's up, Coop? Uh, junior hockey for me was definitely quite the experience playing three years in Johnstown. I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, coming in, I was young, I was 17, but you know, leaving as a 20 year old, I became a man and I definitely loved the town of Johnstown and junior hockey altogether. So hope you're doing well, Coop. Talk to you soon, bud. See ya. Talking just a little bit on my junior experience, it was definitely a good time uh, playing in the North American Hockey League. It was a lot of ups and downs, but something I don't regret, uh, an opportunity for me as a young man to mature and kind of figure out what I wanted to do in life. So I met a lot of people, lived in a bunch of different places and experienced a whole lot that I wouldn't have if I didn't decide to go play juniors. So I don't regret one second of it. And I know there are many other experiences that are similar and different in mine. Hey, what's up, Coop? Uh, junior hockey was definitely a roller coaster experience for me. Coming in at 16 years old and ending at 20, um, it developed me more than just a hockey player in general. Um, it developed me as a man, um, as a person I am today. So without that, I can't, I can't forget uh, junior hockey. <laughs> See you soon, Coop. So as you can see, guys, from their responses, like junior hockey is a great time. Um, it's definitely something that you should like, consider if you want to play hockey at the next level. Um, but it can be really confusing. So I'm thinking about making a few more videos going into like the details of what junior hockey is like and explaining, you know, why these guys had such great times. But obviously there were there were bumps in the road. Obviously, you know, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. But uh, yeah, as as the uh, junior hockey king once said, Chucky Slick, junior hockey is like having a mullet. You can't just do it, boys. It's a lifestyle. See you guys next week. Junior hockey is like having a mullet. Can't just do it. It's a fucking lifestyle. So live it up while you can, boys. <laughs> yeah, it's Chucky Slick. Straight out of the gnaw. The song is for all you beauties out there living the dream. Whether you're first line or fourth line, committed or uncommitted, Junior A or Junior B, the song is dedicated to the lifestyle. Feel me. I'm just living the dream with the boys on my team Free meals, free gear, all the girls wanna get with us I ain't tryna sound cocky, but it is junior hockey So I'm gonna live it up, time is limited So I can't be taking it, living life on the road All the fans getting wild with us Junior hockey is my life And I didn't think twice about the sacrifice Hey yo, I lived a normal life until I started playing junior I moved away from home and now my bill and mom's a cougar My roommate is a beauty, please excuse my hockey humor If you're quitting on your goals and dreams, you're probably a loser I am deadly ass sewer and I'm here for the memories Genos, apples, rarely getting penalties Shout out to the fourth line, not producing all the energy I've been a fucking beauty since I bought my first energy The rookies in the league, I be showing them up I was the first ever gong show, flow of the month Gash on my eye, trainer sewing it up Half my teeth and my bones are like broken and stuff But I could care less, cause hockey's what I love, bro I'ma live the dream until the day I'm done, though Dips are jumbo, man, the damn clan's enormous And I'm always going ham like a damn tyrannosaurus I'm just living the dream with the boys on my team Free meals, free gear, all the girls wanna get with us I ain't trying to sound cocky, but it is junior hockey So I'm gonna live it up, time is limited So I can't be kicking it, living life on the road All the fans getting wild with us Junior hockey is my life And I didn't think twice about the sacrifice <laughs>
Talking shit, dropping myths, got the hockey confidence. I got the nips, but I'll probably never get a scholarship. Yeah, we get the hottest chicks, no wonder we the cockiest. I'm gonna live it up like my name was Matt Robinson. I'm ballin', bitch. Dinner cost 200 flat. No need to worry, cause my rookies handle that. 30 beds on the bus if I wanna take a nap. Wheeling to the fucking max, this is the junior hockey rap.